Hello everybody. My name is Anubhav Jolly. I'm a senior technical marketing engineer for Campus Products at Brocade Communications. Today I want to demonstrate the Campus Fabric solution which is released in the Fast Iron 8040. The main message behind the Campus Fabric solution is to give users a scaled and automated network by collapsing the traditional three-layer topology into a single plane of control and data management. The IEEE-based 802.1BR is the pillar of this campus fabric solution, which is also termed as switch port extender. Now, as you see in the diagram here, I have 7750s, which is the control bridge, and is stacked together. So the same conventional stacking, which is used in the fast iron code, is applicable to ICX 7750s as well. The 7450s are hanging off the 7750 stack through the 802.1 BR solution. We can actually go in a chain format for the 7450s, which you see as the PE, which is a nomenclature for port extender. You see the PE 18 and 19 are in a chain. They are not stacked together. So finally, how this topology is going to look like would be this. I'm just going to do show SPX. This brings out the complete topology, which is the 7750s to units. You see the number one and two. These are connected via stacking. While the 7450s are the number 17, 18 and 19. These are also shown from the 7750 console. So before we go any further, what I'm going to do is I showed you the final output of it, but I'm going to now break up the topology, bring it with standalone units and show you how simple it is to form SPA. So as you see, what I have actually done at this moment is I have dismantled the complete setup. So I only have the 7750s in a stack. So if I show you show SPX, it says SPX CB is not enabled while it only shows me the unit one and two, which are the 7750 stack units. Now the steps that I have to do is I need to enable the switch port extender on 7750. Now 7750 is a control bridge. So the command goes SPX CB enable. It tells you that now it's in 802.1 BR mode. Now that it's in that mode, I can go and configure the CB parameters. So I go SPX CB configure. Under this, I need to specify the port which is going to be the downlink connected to the 7450. The downlink connected to 7450 in my case is a 10 gig port, which is a 1148 on this unit, which is connecting to a 10 gig port on my PE unit 17. So what I go is, I go and do SPX port 1 slash 1 slash 48. I can go and define it with a name. So I go and do PE 17. This is for my administrative purposes. So now it adds it. And I can do show run to show you how it looks like. It's going to tell you that I have the CV enable with CV configure SPX port 1148 PE group as PE 17. This is the only command that we require on the CV unit. Now we can go on to the PE unit, which is the 7450 and enable port extender on this. So the command would be exactly applicable to 7450 go into the config mode, SPX, PE enable. It says that it's now entering a provisional PE mode where you can configure all the required parameters for the solution to come up. Once you're done with the config, you need to write it to the memory and reload the box. This will bring the box in a PE mode. So now what I've got to do is I specify and suggest it an ID. I can specify, say, SPX suggested 
ID and give it an ID number. I want to give it same as 17. Now what I do is I go and specify the port which is the downlink port as well. So what I do is SPX unit 1 now the very reason I did unit 1 is because presently this unit is not being given an SPX unit ID. So every port, every unit is unit number 1. Once it reloads in a PE mode, it will be given its specified ID. So I go into this and I specify my SPX port. Here my SPX port is 1 slash 2 slash 1. So what I go is SPX port. 1 slash 2 slash 1. Now what I need to do is I just go and write it to the memory and reload the box. So now my unit which was the port extender 17 unit came back up and it came back up in the PE mode. So what I need to do now is go back to my control bridge 7750 and see if it detected it. So if you see, it actually says that a stack unit 17 has been added to the system. There is an SPX unit 17. The port numbers are now associated with the unit ID. So what we can check is now we can go and say show SPX. And it tells us that this has been a unit ID 17 which has been added to this config. Similarly, what we could do is we could go ahead and configure unit 18 and unit 19. So I'm going to pause the video for a second and just configure unit 18 and 19. Now that I know that 18 and 19 are in a chain, so the only thing that I got to do is when I configure on the PE unit, I configure two SPX port. One as an uplink, which is connected to the 7750, and the unit which is connected on the downlink to a chain unit of 7450 would be a downlink port. So I configure two SPX ports. Once the unit comes back up, it detects itself as a transit PE and it brings up the whole network which could be managed through 7750. So as I said, I'm going to pause the video for a second and bring up the other two units as well. So I did the same steps for unit number 18 and unit number 19. And after I configure everything on 7450s and 7750s, we would be able to see the topology that I showed you in the beginning of this video. So I will do show SPX and it's going to give you the complete output which is the unit 17, unit 18 and 19 in a chain. So the main takeaway from today's demonstration is Fast Iron has a campus fabric solution which is released in 8040 software by which the users can get a centralized management of control and data planes managing the 7750s and 7450s with a single point of management. Thank you for watching the video.